What's with all this commotion? I haven't been able to sleep all night. This is a very special night. Yeah, well, I'm hungry. Is that kid going to be in the manger long? That's well, not just any kid. That's the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, everlasting father, the prince of peace. Are you pulling my tail? Hey, he's the king of kings. A king would be born in a palace, not in my manger. I'm hungry. You're always thinking about food. I'm a cow. It's what I do. Well, you keep eating like that all the time and you'll be a steak. You should show more reverence for this child. What are you thinking? People are going to worship this kid? Like songs are going to be sung about him? Or, or the best-selling book in history will be written about him? And what, thousands of years from now, people's lives will be changed because of this baby? You think people are going to base their whole calendar system on this baby's birth right here in our stable tonight? It could happen. Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio at lifelinepro.com. Curing your cravings for ham every Sunday morning by serving up Randall Ham in the Sunday morning gospel show every Sunday here on WFLQ French Lick. Quit applauding, cow. Quit applauding, cow. I know my name's Ham, and, you know, I still like a good steak. But I love that message right there from Lifeline Pro. It could happen. 946, the Sunday morning gospel show, 61 degrees. And Sherry Ann, Merry Christmas with love. Evergreen friend in the snow Remembering Christmas the way it had been So many seasons ago And the children would reach for their stockings And open the presents they found Shine bright in their eyes Reflecting the love all around But this year there's no one to open the gifts No reason for trimming the tree I'm just as a tear made its way to the floor She heard voices outside start to sing
Sherry Ann, her new Christmas CD, Merry Christmas with Love, and it's a very special CD, and uh, she's a very special artist. She is hearing impaired, but yet goes out and sings and speaks of our Lord, lets nothing get her down. In fact, somebody was commenting the other day, I was talking with Sherry Ann, and she was talking about her new Christmas CD, and of course she is hearing impaired, and she said... uh, Someone said, do you find it ironic that the first song on your CD is, Do You Hear What I Hear? She's hearing impaired. And somebody said, the first song you lead off is, Do You Hear What I Hear? And Sherry just said, I had to laugh. Let's do that right now. Sherry Ann, Do You Hear What I Hear?
Christmas CD. It's called Merry Christmas with Love. I had a chance to speak with Sherry Ann a little earlier on this year at NQC. Let's listen to that interview. I am Randall Ham, host of the Sunday Morning Gospel Show on WFLQ French Look. Of course you know what's on WFLQ. You're listening to me right now. Another Artist Spotlight segment with the artist known as Sherry Ann. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Randall. Good to be here with and you. How are you doing this morning, Sherry? I'm excited to be at the NQC again. It's a good day. And if you notice, she don't have a southern draw. She's from upper New York State. Yes, I was born and raised in New York State, and a lot of people notice the accent right away. But what they don't realize is it's actually not a New York accent. So even in my home state, people come up to me and say, where are you from, the minute I talk. And my accent is because I was born partially deaf. So I wear two hearing aids. I took seven years of speech therapy. And I still talk like I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> but you sing like a bird. Definitely you don't sing like a Brooklynite. Thank you so much. It's a, it's a gift from God. I love to sing. I love to sing about the Lord. And you've had several projects out. Tell the folks about your, your newest project. Okay, so there's kind of two in a way because I just released A Closer Walk in October with Nick Bruno, a great selection of some Bill Gaither classics, a song that I wrote, uh, a couple of songs I'll be even singing uh, here at the NQC. And uh, it's called A Closer Walk because just A Closer Walk with the is on there. And it takes the listener into a deeper walk with the Lord. Now, this latest CD, the CD that's coming out this October is called Merry Christmas with Love. It's my first ever Christmas CD, so I'm so excited. Yeah, we've been watching the progress of the Christmas project. It's uh, uh, the biggest thing in, in music nowadays with groups is, you know, raising money online and you get to have a part of the project. Yes, for this project, see, I was never sure if I would do a Christmas CD because it is such a selective type of uh, CD that certain songs, certain times of the year. But my crowd, my my audience has been asking for it for so long. They say, you have such a warm voice. We'd love to hear you sing those Christmas classics. So I decided, well, if the fans want it, let's see if they'll fund it. And I did a crowdfunding program called GoFundMe. And we raised uh, pretty much very close to our goal. And uh, with that money... I was able to put it all into this project, and I'm so grateful to them. I make sure I made sure that I thanked them in this project. And so because of them, my faithful followers, friends, listeners, fans, we will be having this Christmas CD coming out October 29th. And if you've seen the video that I've put on my Sunday Morning Gospel Show page, that's your appearance at the 2000 NQC when you sang in the showcase, and those that sing in the showcase have an opportunity to be one of two out of that showcase to perform on main stage. Well, in 2013, you did win, introduced by Mark Bishop. That's right. But that's where I found out. I knew you were a chiropractor, but you are so many things. Yeah, I'm a chiropractor, a doctor of chiropractic, um, a certified fitness trainer. I also do writing, uh, speaking. I've done acting. I've been in two Christian films, Clancy and The Perfect Gift. I'm doing some songwriting now and, of course, a singer and a speaker in school because of overcoming my disability. I've spoken for a lot of schools and colleges, universities, uh, conventions, wherever they will have me. A few years ago, you had a concept video out on one of your singles. I had a song that I wrote, uh, I Only Know to Pray. I come from a large home, and it's kind of a scattered, broken home. And I was coming across, I was looking for my siblings, and of course, modern technology, the Internet, is a wonderful thing uh, when you're searching for people. Until you find them and you see things that just break your heart. When you see pictures or certain things that are being displayed in a public manner. And that's what happened to me. And I didn't know what to do. But I had just come back from Nashville with a voice, working with a voice coach. And he said, when you don't know what to do about a situation, pray and write a song. So out of that came the song, I Only Know to Pray. And that's on my second CD, Keep On Praying, by Gordon Moat. He produced that album. And we like to joke that that album was the blind leading the deaf. (laughs) Sherry Ann this morning on the Sunday Morning Gospel Show. Let's do one more from that project to uh, take us to the top of the news hour. Amen. Amen. Sherry Ann this morning. Lying in a 
Listening to WFLQ French Lick Indiana the Time, ten o'clock. Pray into his father in deepest sorrow. Trump, Trump, carry concern.